All right, hey guys, how you doing? Um, Running into some problems with my avatar. For some reason, uh, the audio-based lip sync isn't working, so she's not really talking, unless I get really loud or I move my mouth in an exaggerated fashion, like that, which is kind of exhausting. But I am here because, uh, not that, I wanted to, I got a special treat for you guys today. Um, and it is going to be in the form of a game that I think you're gonna like. So let's do a little bit of retro gaming. I'm gonna go for about an hour and a half, then I gotta get ready to pick up the wife. Hello, Fracas Maximus, welcome. Say greetings, hopefully I'm not coming across too loud here. Um. But yeah, let's uh let's get into this this game. I think you guys are gonna like this. Oop shit. I just had it and then I it and I removed it. I was a stupid and I removed it. So hold on a second. Um But yeah. Hey Fracas. Jojo, Jojo, go to your bed, buddy. Jojo, go to your bed. He's here. Jojo, go to your bed. Come on. Go. There he is. See? He's here. All right. I think that's the right one. Let it install. A test. Game stream. Put that bad boy on the screen. That. See it now. Super old school. We want to make sure that this is running and correct audio spot. You guys remember this game? I'm gonna let the intro go. So this is literally an arcade emulator, so I gotta in insert coins to start the game. I'll add a bunch of coins, because I'm probably gonna die a lot. And I think it's... Start. And to select my character, uh, I will go with Homer. Homer was my favorite when I used to play this in the arcades. Because he would box like a man. Homer. Very simple game. Uh, you just have a jump button and uh, an attack button. So. I don't know who that is. Is that like a businessman? You do you can do two player combos, yeah. This is um Um this, this you can actually play this game multiplayer. I can't pause it unfortunately. It's uh the principal and is that Ralph? No. Oh. I, 
like Homer jump kick. Alright, you, you can't take any hits. You need some healing. that vertical space. give you two lives. Land. Do I have to fight Krusty now? Is he on my side? No. Oh, that wasn't the real Krusty. Hey, it's that guy. And he's gave me a drink. It's is that my friend? Santa's helper. Body splash? Hell yeah. These guys are all going to get out, aren't they? Homer just fights. Everybody else got a gimmick, but... Mano a mano. Thank you.
That guy just slide kick? I haven't seen this in a long time, yeah. This, I don't know if you guys ever uh, heard of the In Hell comic, comic strip, but Matt Groenick did the In Hell comic strip before The Simpsons, and it had these rabbits. This is called Life in Hell, is actually what it's called. Can I go in there? Hey, where'd that guy go? Uh, let me try changing character. To Bart. He fights with a... I, Bart has actually more reach than most. There's the cat. What's the cat's name? Anybody know? Another character that's good on here that I play is Marge. Oh, I gotta fight the trusty bl the balloon. Right. Bart man. These old Konami arcade games, they were just quarter munchers. They were there to like take your money. The only thing worse than them were the mid valley midway ones. Uh, let's, let's try Marge. He's got the. He's doing what a real woman does. She's fighting with a, a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> oh shit. Oh look, I beat it. everyone <laughs> Oh shit Wow, that was not right. That's a woman. Is this regressive? <laughs> Cut. And they don't give you any health in this game. I got one health power up since I started doing this. Go. It's a zombie.
Lisa, since I've done the rest. Power of jump rope. Why are there zombies? A lot to just to get um, Marge, uh, Maggie back, but okay. They'll say they made, uh, I don't know. Oh, shit. The ghost! Oh shit, obligatory elevator level. Section, though. I did it. Any power ups in here, or are they? these guys I don't have names so I don't know this reference it's probably too old because this game came out like in the 90s All right, we're bringing Homer back. Homer. Homer boxes. You don't play. He's got jump kicks. He's got body splashes. No gimmicks. All, all flex. All man. Look at that. He's surprisingly fast too. with them sleeves. Got some fucking Matrix kicks. Isn't that the shit the, me the Neo did? <laughs> fucking Matrix kicks. You guys are saying really quick. The Homa Hammer! <laughs> alright, alright. I bet I'll die if I don't move. I can't pause this game. It's not, not an arcade game. Oh, actually, there is a way to pause it now that I think about it. I can uh, do this.
I paused it real quick. I figured out how to do it. Uh, let me see what you guys are saying in the comments. Real Bob Nubin, what's up? Ergo Proxy, you could play do player. Yeah, so like this, this somebody asked me if Fightcade has like co-op and it does. It also has online co-op. It actually has an online, like online multiplayer. All the games, the fighting games, uh, whatever. If it has multiplayer function, then you can play it. So like if I go into Fightcade right now, um, oh, I can't look. If I go into Fightcade right now, it'll show me who else is online that's playing the same game. And I can like invite them. And it's got people from all over the world. So pretty cool. Somebody asked me about that on the last, I think when I streamed it last. I'm also going to show a little tech romancer uh, because I figured out like thought of how to change the controls so I can play tech romancer and, and Marvel versus Capcom two a lot better. Um, quick tip for speaking Spanish. If you add Ioso or Amente to a word, it becomes Spanish. <laughs> Marge fighting the patriarchy. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. Um, I'm trying to find, I have the, this one Marge sound I'm trying to find it um that i i kind of like is it i thought it was in the donations of the laughing i gotta reorganize it says i'll crump crump with you sweetie pie um but i can't find it now so maybe it's under here um no no what we're yelling about actually oh here it is i'll crump with you sweetie pie yeah anyway let's play more of the game uh-uh that guy throws his hat like odd job hi <laughs> oh i'm in moe's there's oh shit do i have to fight him barney get out of here I want to get off the table, Mo. I'm sorry. Oh, those broom guys. <laughs> jump kick! This is the Homer jump kick. Watch out! All right, body splash. Boom. Lisa's on the TV. Swing shot. Swing shot's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, he can... Not Mark. Hey, it's um Bleeding Gums Murphy, right? Killed me. I think you get to keep that slingshot until you die. Aliens. What's on the screen? Three-eyed alien. The Simpsons was a four-player game. There's the arcade machine right there. It's like the most wanted, like, arcade game that I can think of. They probably have, you know, there's a couple of versions of this ROM on here. They probably have the four-player one. Apparently, this is the two-player one, though. Oh, for these bitches. Oh, I don't know who that is, but... Yeesh! 
Nuclear! The Blade endures 1979. Oh, did they now? Yeah. You might want to keep an eye out for any hidden arcade machines in your vicinity. Who knows what kind of gaming adventures await you? Hey! Oh no, I thought I beat him. Ah, oh, shoot. Let's do, um, Marge then. I'll grunt with you, sweetie pie! Yeah, I did it. Girl power! Springfield Butte? Boot? He's cleaning these streets. I think if I go in that water, I'll die, right? Let me see. I can't. Whoa. Is it throwing rocks and shit? Oh, it's Look the Sasquatch. Or was. Fucking killed him. That's awfully abusive. Special attack. That us. Uh, that's not Superintendent Chalmers, is it? May I? Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. Leave me alone. It's a three-eyed, uh, fish. Oh, rocks. What the fuck? Leave me alone. Bart's got moves. Can I go up there? No. Oh shit, I pick up a raccoon. I'll take that. Take that from Sideshow Bob. Just a bear? What kind of boss is that? Oh. Oh. 
skater skater boy moves. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh shit, that's like two hits? That jumping move? Got him, right? Yeah, I know. Don't have a cow, man. Who the hell are you? Why did Smithers take... I guess he wanted the diamond, right? He could just take the diamond out of her mouth. <laughs> Donuts. Dude, is this heaven? Did I die? Is that the moon man? This white supremacy? Shit, dude. This is this is just Konami reminding us they are a Japanese company. a lot of credits. I gotta add some credits. What? Oh, I better stay away from those. The hell? They never made, uh, like, even tried to make, like, a. Uh, I don't know, maybe they don't own the rights or something, but why haven't they done anything with the Simpsons uh, IP like this since? Oh my god, I decapitated that guy. Magi. Yeah, I think I died, and this is like heaven or something. But is this Protestant heaven or Catholic heaven? That's what I want to know. The hell is going on? Like these enemies kind of suck. Shit. Homer. My favorite. I can hit these fucking guys. Got one. You guys leaving? Whoa, what? What? God, this thing is...
This is not the kind of game that you do a no-hit run on. now shoots missiles what the what in sand hill is this oh it's shooting bowling pins as missiles oh man nice ADHD music the worst can I beat it This is Konami showing off. I beat it. Oh, not over yet. Do your dance, Homer. Manic AF, right. Man, old old arcade games were some other on some other shit. <laughs> hey, wake up and find Maggie. Ready? Okay. Go. Why why are those other hands why are those other hands gotta be brown though? Channel six. Okay. Motherfuckers. Wow, what the hell? They need to like, lose all of this. A, a can of duck. These guys are like foot soldiers from uh, Ninja Turtles, you know? Different colors, same shit. Robot and an alien. Oh, it's a gank, it's a gank fight. Gank boss fight. Oh, man. 
Didn't Michael Jackson appear in an episode of The Simpsons? He was like playing a... Uh... Well, that was weird. He was playing like a guy with cancer that was dying or something. So I got this robot head. No, you don't. Get broomed. I forgot that you can hit these trees for like food. Until the rabbit comes out and says there's no more. Okay. Ninjas? Okay, that was unexpected. What are you, flip kicks and shit? Teleport? Japan. You guys cannot help yourselves. You have to put ninjas in everything. Oh man, motherfuckers throwing shuriken. Should have went up there. Probably went out of there too. Do you know what? I'll box with you guys. I'll box with them. I threw a shuriken at that dude. Did you see that? <laughs> no, you don't. Versus bad dudes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Are you a bad enough Homer to rescue the president? This is how you know you're at the higher levels when you're fighting ninjas. No matter what kind of game it is. If this is a Simpsons game, I'm pretty sure there are no ninjas on the show. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I'm not a expert on the lore, but... Oh, I'm all out of bullets. We're just gonna fight then. Uh, uh. Try to teleport behind, behind me? What kind of gay shit is that? Ninja, please! Shit, doing phone jutsu and shit? Way before Naruto came out. <laughs> uh uh. We're clashing in midair like fucking one of those movies. Oh shit. Kabuki. They, it's like... What? Uh, I'm sorry, but... I've not seen this in the show at all. Alright. I'm gonna I'm continue, but before before I do, I gotta stop there for a second and have a sip of wine. It's weird. <laughs> this, this is so weird, like... I, I, you know, I, know I, I remember when the arcade first came out, um, it was like super popular. Like it, the, the machine was packed, man. It was a four player machine and everybody was mashing buttons. But what you didn't realize is like, cause the graphics for the time were so like mind blowing and it looked like the cartoon and they had the voices. What you didn't realize is that it was just, just eating your money. When you compare it to games of today, like these games are designed to take your money, but they are. I'm not saying it's not fair. It was just like a quarter to play, but I never saw it to the to the end. Like I, cause I, you know, I, I was poor, so I think I played it a couple of times. And it was only 
in this like arcade that was kind of out of the way it wasn't in my neighborhood so i might you know be in the area and then go check it out but there were other games i was playing too but yeah i mean like i don't know man you would think that a simpsons game would have basically wall-to-wall simpsons references and this seems to be like yeah here's some simpsons references in this beginning you know here's springfield and here's the power plant but now you're just like yeah you know you're just gonna be in japan now or i mean i thought it was like a record like i thought it was a tv studio but i'm just in japan fighting ninjas and a fucking you know kabuki boss <laughs> it's just like with a naginata and everything and i'm like i don't remember now maybe it was on the show maybe there was an episode that i didn't see like because i didn't watch all of it you know but i feel like this is kind of tacked on i'm just saying <laughs> The original play one dollar to reload, yeah, pay one dollar, yeah. Before there was DLC, there were there were arcade machines, you know. All right, mm. needs more alcohol to understand the plot. The plot is rescue Maggie by beating up everyone in your way. That's basically the plot. Why? I don't know. Iceman Slim says, "Don't." All right. Let's get back into it. Um, I just needed a moment, you know. All right, should we, I'm gonna have Homer's gonna finish what he started. Fuck that. See, the only time you can hit this nigga is when he's dancing, and he's making like I don't know, funny faces. Yo. Oh shit, he's got special attacks! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is so ridiculous, man. Come on, just beat his ass. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna fucking war of attrition. I got more. I got infinite credits. We're just gonna fight like that. I'm not putting up with your bullshit anymore. Oh, body splash! Body splash! Ugh. Un 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 food. <laughs> you change your name again? Why? Wow, Homer's got courage beyond courage. All right, I think we're getting close to the end of the game. I feel like we're about to enter the level. This is like the Dr. Wily Castle part. So we're in the power plant. Or maybe we go to... Because um, I know the final boss is Mr. Burns. I don't know if it's Mr. Burns and like a giant robot or something. It's probably something like that, right? Oh yeah, here we go. Welcome to my world. That's not what he sounds like. <laughs> supposed to be like... I'm here to stop you, sir. Mr. Simpson. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't understand. I'm just gonna beat your ass, you know that? Oh, I can grab these, eh? The blue ones will blow up and I can pick them up. Like why why does he look like this? I, I don't I don't understand. Japan, what are you doing? Oh, suicide fest too? Wow. Edgy. Uh oh. He's watching. Oh yeah, here we go. 
What? <laughs> what? What? Why don't you just fire me? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I don't have any credits. I gotta put some credits in. Um... Who should I use to, like, fight this? It's the Smithers Battle Voice, yeah. It does the you. I always like Iceman, not the current day one, but the old classic one. Well, she's dead. <laughs> uh, is that one of Marge's Asian sisters? No, it's not. They were just random. There's like so much more they could have done with this, but I thought, I mean, for the first Simpsons adaptation to it. But that was just it's weird. Yeah, Marge. I, that's what I thought you meant. Um, Marge, you want me to be Marge? Okay. Why would Smithers even bother with this? Like, he really wants this diamond, I'm just saying. Spent a lot for that. Uh oh, what's going on? He's not done yet. There's no way. Where do you think you're going? Excellent. Oh. Yeah, I think the, the gimmick, uh, the, the gameplay gimmick for this was combination attacks, now that I think about it. Man, so violent. Alright, now what? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Like a hovercraft thing. Oh wait, what? He does a butt thing? Working. I'm gonna twerk him to death. The grabby arms. Oh my god. <laughs> come on over here, come on over here. What do you got? get in close because he like grabs you with those grabby arm things. What? I thought I was hitting him but it wasn't working. Weird. 
happening. Excellent. Yay, we won. She does have a special attack if you press jump and attack at the same time. Yeah, that's the butt attack. Marge and in charge. <laughs> oh shit, here we go again. Well, that happened. And <laughs> this is why she shot Burn. So, I'll say that, um... My opinion on the game, having now finished it, uh... For an arcade game, you know, I could see why people were drawn to it at the time. But, it, it, it was alright, but it got Japaned up a little too much. Like, I don't know why Japan just got weird. They were like, uh, you know, we don't feel like this is a representative of our culture. We will inject extra revel with ninjas and kabuki boss. And it just didn't make sense. Um, what happens if I put butt? That's like what you gotta do when you're in there. And then, like, you, you're, you know, you're number one. Oh, I don't want to say that. Um, Jojo tomorrow? Yes. Um, Lindsay is going to, uh, here, let me go back to you. God, I'm not doing the, I'm not doing this again. I'm going to switch games. Um, we're going to do Tech Romancer again. I think I got it figured out this time. Um, well, I should be able to play it now. I know how to play it. This is going to be using the Dreamcast. So it should be, um, should like it's gonna work a lot better. Basically. Oh no, this is Marvel vs. Capcom. No, no, I didn't want that. Hey, where's my Tech Romancer at? Oh, I removed the wrong thing. I gotta. Damn it! Hold up. Yeah, um. Or maybe it's not here. Try heck. Gonna install. It's gonna Hopefully, this will work. Yeah, there we go. This one, because it was like, that's the win. Resolution. Tag Romancer. Be able to hear it. So here we go. We make sure that, uh, Load? Button configuration. No. Guard. Attack. Attack. Yes. Alright. There's like a special mode, like. Um, We'll do story mode again. Last time I was struggling, but I got it now. So, do that. I don't know if you guys saw this when I was playing it before, but... 
All of the all of the an mecha anime tropes. Beautiful. Us as you guys can see better. Alright, so the the doctor gave me the powerful secret robot. This is basically Messenger Z. Uh should be good. Axbo. Grab this stuff, power up. Oh. Extreme impact. Oh no. For this rock. The missile. Oh. Why does the monster have tech tent testicles? You know what? Don't judge. This is on the Dreamcast. And it was in the arcades as well. Uh, it was a Capcom experimental Capcom game. Uh, they were experimenting with lots of things. I can also play Power Stone on here. I was never great at that, but I can definitely try it out. If you guys it. But Tech Romancer was like a little bit of a guilty pleasure for me because I like all the uh, the anime mecha tropes. They got like great voice actors. They're like really selling it. Like you could see yourself. You could see this show existing. Definitely looks like a Dreamcast game. This sack just got asked. <laughs> Save the laugh, the Inferno of Heat Blazer. In the in the story mode is done like a like an anime, basically, with episodes. And if, depending on the character you play as, it's a different show. You know, but it's all the same fights. Oh yeah, this robot. It's like a magical girl robot that's made out of like random shit from the city. A little house for a head. Poland and Poland. Poland. He starts off as like a child and like powers up and becomes an adult, which I'm not really sure how to feel about that, but it's Japan. It's Japan shit. Oh, you motherfucker. That's right. Extreme impact. 
Saori best girl. Oh, you bitch. Oh. Uh oh. Turn to a bomb. Just gonna stay back here. We'll come back together. It's okay, right? <laughs> Oh, the drill. I forgot about the drill. Doomsday missile. Oh, shit. That didn't work. Punch him. Punch him in the face. Punch some people in the face. Punch some people in the face. Give that whammon some respect. <laughs> yeah, winning this game is not really about like knowing combos and like execution and like ability to do special moves because they make the moves really easy to do. So it's more about managing your items. Uh, and navigating the environment and when the you can't block you can't turtle up and it'll, it'll wear you down so they just have different I don't know it's a fighting game but it's made to be easy I'm gonna vote I'm gonna bounce out because I'm fucking Sigma as fuck I don't know if you can see that get the Sigma nose band-aid so bye bitch I don't even know what I think the different decisions just like different fights but Last time I played it, I, I bounced. Goldabus is the final boss. The big bad. And uh, Frieza, I mean Arakshim, one of his minions. The trap! It's actually just gonna be another fight. Is her life that important to you? Actually, no. We're just gonna fight. Okay. <laughs> Armor Knight G. Kaiser. Ganda. Oh, shit. Fucking big ass invisible nigga. Nope. Ooh, that was close. The bomb! Someone set me up the bomb. He teleports, right? I forgot about that. Just, this boss is weird. Oh, it's a squish. Oh, I got you now. Holy, look at all this damage. Form blazing sword, bitch.
強すぎる<笑>汚ねえ手を使わなきゃ勝てねえのかよ純平くんサオリーブチカありがとう純平くん助けに来てくれていやサオリーはすげえおてんばだから Next time don't leave the house I told you to stay home Try to make me worry, I got shit to do. Wait, I got, I got like a letter, like a letter in the mail with a stamp on it? Does that have a return address? Like what? Reika sent me the letter from her, like, mech? <laughs> Ori Halconium Nium, that's the metal. Bubble shit at me. Oh shit. What? Oh no. Extreme impact. Throw that rock, bitch. I'm gonna do it to you. Is gonna work? Oh no! Oh! Okay, alright. Welcome, Havoc. Hey, yo, after watching a little more of that stream of video game development influencers, it definitely felt like they were making an effort to watch what they said, which makes them more of a threat. Yeah, I think that, I think there was a lot of, like, caution. But I, I, I mean, I don't know if it makes them more of a threat. I mean, it, I think it means that they're afraid. I, that's what I think. I think it means that they're afraid. All right, we're gonna skip this. Get to the fight. I'm gonna use my range. Oh, that hurt. Oh, you bitch. Oh, what happened? What happened? Oh. See, when you take items from them, when you hit them, then they can't use them. Oh. Oh. 
Ага. Oh, I can fly now, that's right. I can fly now. What? I don't know why, but... What am I doing? Like, why am I... Oh, whatever. I don't know, that was weird. I wasn't sure. I was in hero mode. And I, I don't know what I can do in hero mode. But... Take it! Oh! Oh no, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me again. Oh shit. I'm gonna dance on my shit too. This bitch. It is it isn't easy though. It ain't easy. Mechanical select. I'm going to try one more time. I got pretty good at this when I was a, a shoddy. Tuesday missile. Oh, fuck. I ain't rock. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. I just gotta go. I just gotta go ham on all my items as often as possible. Yep, take that. Oh, no running. It's over for you. <laughs> Try to finesse on me. I don't know, I don't know, you beat me like twice, but okay. Yes. The Kaiser Dimension system is beyond that of known physics. That is what Ori Halconium is. Ori Halconium. But you do have infinite continues. This is where I got stuck last time. I think I'll be better this time. Basically, uh, what's his name? Char Anzanabel or whatever from Gundam? Or, um... What was the, the Speed Racer X from Speed Racer? Mysterious, badass. Is he a rival? Is he a friend? Oh, 
We're friends now. Didn't hit me though. Take this rock. Oh my goodness. What? Did he stab me with the spear? Motherfucker. Extreme. Get those missiles. Bombs, nigga. Try it. Shit, 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 shit. Yes! Dude, he made me work for it, though. He made me work for it. Who's next? That guy is kind of rough. You have to unlock that one. Could he be your mysterious brother? I don't know. It's possible. What would the plot? What would the plot ask? That'd be super tropey. Shadow Red was his name. Doesn't even make sense. Goldabest is like a freaking annoying boss. So if I get to that boss, I think I'm I'm probably gonna like just try once. The decisive battle in Demon Castle. Yeah, it's Goldabest. This is the, I'm gonna die. Like this guy, I don't remember. It's like a two phase fight. He's like. Some kind of organic, you know, some shit that Go Nagai would have come up with, basically. I mean, they look cool, man. I like, I, that was the thing. I love the art in this game. I love the designs. Like some shit, like some, um, 
What is it? What was that? There's an anime called it like Five Star Stories or something. Yeah. Teleporting motherfucker too. Cause that's what it's gotta be. It's gotta be some fucking teleporting motherfucker. Shoots dragons. And that's only if you beat the first half. Uh, Cause that's this isn't the real fight. It's obviously the second form or whatever. Shit! I got him. This round. This ain't the real fight, though. The second. It's the second half. I'll be surprised if I win uh, this. One. But I gotta go after this anyway, so no matter what happens. Yeah, here's the real one. Oh, uh, monster face, face chest. That's how you know it's a demon. Got teeth everywhere. Although it's like literally like the same move, but more like cheap. Oh shit, the fucking Phoenix! For some reason. I forgot about that. We're just gonna I'm just gonna go for it, whatever, man. Teleport. Oh. oh shit, dude. I don't want to believe that I might win. I'm not even going to hype myself. Yeah, okay, that, that was it for me. Yeah, see, so you have to beat him like twice, but on the same health. That's like, that's like too much to ask, but that's... It's okay. I, you know, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna leave it at that, but let's play around a little bit in the, um, menu. Some of the other stuff. I think you, you guys have seen enough of this. Die. So there's something called the Tatsumi Technodrome Dome, okay? And it uses the memory card, so like... I have a Dreamcast, but I bought it, like, they were, like, on special sale. They were still, still get them at GameStop. Bought it a long time ago. But the thing is, is that some of the components you couldn't get 
Like I, I think there was there were these memory cards, but the memory cards were like little, little tiny Game Boys that you could use to play little mini games. Um, and I think that uh, it, this might have like an emulator for that. I don't know because I haven't tried it yet. Uh, Lat says, yeah, you you have plenty of coins. You have thirty two thousand coins, man. You should be talking to Arcade Machine. Money talks, but mine always says goodbye. He's got jokes, guys. He's got jokes. So I don't know what the te the Tatsumi Technodrome, if it's going to let me use it, or if I need to have a memory card, which doesn't make sense because this is... But it does have a memory card because I'm able to save my, you know, my, my configuration and stuff. So I can probably do it. I don't know how it's going to work. Maybe not. This is, I don't know if you guys saw the intro already. I'll let it play because I like it. This is back when Capcom was like, they had to produce art. They would have like these, like all kinds of artwork. You can see like the story in just like an image, even though like the game doesn't go into it, you know? But that Ultraman guy. She's a little girl and turns to an adult. I don't know how to feel about that. Twins and V. Like two kids. Fine. That's a pretty cool one. I like this one too. Yeah, I fucked him up. Characters. Um, but I think the, the, the tech, the, i to go into the, um, tech romancer. go into the, uh, pretty sure, <laughs> laugh, <laughs> pretty sure the word red in Japanese sometimes used to mean complete, so complete darkness. I don't know, does it? Shadow red? Oh, no, 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 no I don't want to do that. I'm going to go to this one. Hatsume Techno Dome. So apparently, okay, mini game, download the visual memory game. Love and punches. So, I don't know. See, like, okay, but I don't know how to use it. Okay, so not enough memory. Yeah, so I can't do it. So there are these little mini games you can play on your. It was it was a weird thing. Like the Dreamcast had these little tiny Game Boys that functioned as memory cards, but you can also take them out. They had a little battery life. That was the thing when I bought my Dreamcast. I do have one of those cards, but the battery is dead, so I never used it. Uh, and it sucked because I couldn't save any progress. But yeah, mini game three, so it's like a, a rock, paper, scissors thing, I think. Then there's like a story box. Oh, can I look at this? Do the story demos in branch condition. Kaiser, Dixon, Wild Duck, for all the characters you have. Well, maybe there's like uh, pictures in the box. I cannot view the Blast Off movie of this uh, yet. Oh, okay. This is it. What? I've never seen this before. Those graphics. Weird. Well, what's this one then? Oh, yeah, it comes out of a pool and shit. Oh, I'm sorry, it comes out of a mountain. <laughs> Love it! So good, it's so good. A uh, robot box? What's that? Do the technical data of G Kaiser. So there's a picture of it. They tell you there's a drawing. I like the I like the drawing. Give you all the information. Armor material. Or a Halconium. What is that? Affiliation, Tatsumi Technodome. Creator, Dr. Genzo Todoroki and Dr. Mamoru Todoroki. It has, like, the abilities, defense power. I mean, none of this means anything. You know. Um, there's some... Oh, I like this, though. There's some artwork. That looks cool as shit, man. Kaiser. I mean, I, we know what it represents. Like, I don't know. Are you guys, are you, do you guys like uh, these kinds of super robots? 
what kind of mecha do you like? Do you like the super robots, like the Messenger Zs and the, you know, stuff like that? I mean, I, Messenger Z was my shit when I was a kid. Like, I know all the kids like Voltron, um, but I mean, until Robotech came out, like Messenger Z was my jam because the battles were always like about as violent as giant robot fights could be. Like motherfuckers were missing arms and shit when it was over. Aphrodite A was always like without boobs and like just completely wrecked and that's how you felt like the stakes were high in those messengers shows you know on tv or transor z if you watch it in the states um i remember messenger z because on the spanish channel they would show it and it was on the spanish channel way before it came to uh, at least chicago uh uhf television channel 60 or something early in the morning you can watch messenger transor z I don't know why they could change the name for i think it was because transformers was popular maybe i'm not even sure uh looks like gurin lagan um i've watched a few mecha but haven't seen any of the classics oh well messenger that's a gona guy uh show okay and if you gona guys known for like more violent anime like devil man um and violence jack you know, but he also did, uh, well, he did Bastard Z. He did, what's the other one I'm thinking of? Beauty Honey. Um, quite a few things, you know. So he was, uh, Keko, uh, Keko Common, I think, is another one. But, so he was either, like, sexy stuff or violent stuff. And I was into, like, I love Pat Labor, though. Oh, yeah, there is there is one that's, like, Pat Labor or Gundam in here. So these are the, so that's got to be the Axe Bow like the technical data what why i don't know because it looks cool eight nine this is all those those are the bombs that he throws so like the again like, what why there's so much work put into this i mean it really for like such a simple little game there's a lot of work here they're showing you what the cockpit looks like why like again that never comes up in the game so definitely um g kaiser uh is my favorite option. But let's look at the other one. So this is Gorai, which is the samurai one that uh, Shadow Red uses. Um, super, uh, the armor material, super evil steel. <laughs> super evil steel. That's, yeah, that sounds, that sounds like it's almost as good as uh, Aura K. Colocalum or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> super evil steel. Affiliation Goldibus Core. He has a core, the fucking demon guy on the distant planet in the castle. Okay. Um so creator Shadow Red and Tokugawa Heavy Industry. So I mean this one looks cool. It reminds me of a it does remind me of something out of Gundam. I don't know if it does for you, but it reminds me of that. Um and I like the big legs, although it's a little too chunky for my taste. It's got all these different samurai weapons. So pretty neat. There's the cannon that it has. And a big-ass Tetsubo. And a double-ended Naginata. Sickle. So yeah, super, super evil steel, guys. <laughs> I didn't know that such a material existed. Is this like what? Um, <laughs> or Al... Or... Ori Kalum. Is that what it is? I don't even know. All right, this is Dixon. This is a, this one is another one I like. This is definitely inspired by uh, Gundam and Pat Labor. Mention um, Lun Lunanium Composite Armor Material Affiliation S S H T O Space Force Creator Dover and Westrin. Uh, this is definitely like more of a military like mass produced type mech, but I like it a lot. This is very armored core in my opinion. Uh, but Dixon is another one I like. Hey, sorry I haven't spoken to Allison much yet. I'm going through some pretty bad insomnia. I feel like absolute crap. Man, I'm sorry. You should try um, Havoc if you're interested. Uh, there are these great gummies. They have like... Um, uh, they have... Um, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, they have uh, like magnesium in them and like uh, a couple of other things that'll help you. They'll knock you right out, man. I I had insomnia last year, like really bad, because I was like stressed out about this like court case. And, oh, I was really sick, and there was so much going on. I, I'm a lot better now, so I I think 
I think that part of it is you have to kind of decompress. That's why that's why I stream games. By helps me relax, you know. Put me in a flow state. So very nice. I like this one a lot. Nice colors, nice design. Simple, you know, but but effective. Definitely inspired, like I said, by Pat Labor. Gundam, in my opinion, lots of different weapons as the shield. There's a lightsaber. That's how you know it's like a got the same kind of legs. Maybe some of the people that worked on these designs worked on that because the the guys who did the designs for Armored Core Six and some of the other Armored Core games they also worked on like Gundam, uh, some other one. Sorry, I can't remember. I think um, Escaflone was one. Some other one. That's Dixon. Uh, this is Wise Duck, which is another one I kind of think is neat. This reminds me of Robotech. There were these um, these big robots that didn't transform on Robotech called Destroids, at least canon, and they were like walkers. Um, there were different kinds, but this one was the one called the Mac. I think it was called the Mac, like that, or the Mac Two. Uh, it was like this low, very heavy, um, very heavy, like basically power armor mecha didn't transform walked around very cool though it, i feel like that's what it's inspired by it's definitely like uh brain no working which reminds me i need to watch old anime 70s and 80s anime to get caught up big o is that oh is that is oh is that what well i think this came out way before the big o show came out but um i mean maybe i think so i think so but big o is another super robot it's like another like messenger this one is piloted by a whole crew of characters so when you play through the story mode that you like all the characters are like a little, like a tank team. What do you call it? Yeah, like a tank team. All the different weapons. This one is kind of a neat robot too. I like this one. Um, oh, it's an alternate color. Yeah, I'm not crazy. Well, so that's Wise Duck. This one is Pulseon. I think that Pulseon is inspired by um, two things. It's got like Ultraman vibes in what with his moves and stuff. But I think of Ultraman, but I think appearance-wise, because it's supposed to be a robot, I think it's uh, kind of like a mix between Ultraman and Evangelion, just because of these um, proportions and stuff. Made from unknown, because it's alien. Uh, so, yeah. So this one is uh, Pulseon. That's what it looks like. Very skinny. That's why I think of, like, uh, Evangelion. I think that it came out around the same time, but I, I don't quote when, but he's like, got weapons and he does like a, spe uh, like a ultra, you know, like the beam that Ultraman does where you like where he crosses his arms and a beam comes out, he does that too. So he's kind of an Ultraman, um, Evangelion and that one, oh, that one's kind of weird though. It's a weird one other one i guess that maybe that i've never seen that before i wonder if they were like playing with different designs oh that's cool too so that's pulseon um this is another one this is rafaga this is the the one based on uh the veritech from robotech uh made from new titanium alloy pretty simple uh those are the vibes i get evangelion yeah i always felt like big o felt like batman versus gundam oh i can see that um I remember Big O, the plot of that anime gave me a headache. It felt like they rushed through the ending. I never watched it. That guy is totally based on Bruce Wayne. No one's ever going to tell me otherwise. <laughs> yeah, the pilot? Yeah, totally. Um, so Rafaga is definitely based on Robotech. And I like this one because you can transform while you're playing. That's like his gimmick. And a different, different forms will give you different abilities, like different weapons. So that's the, the human form of it. Uh, or the humanoid or the bipedal form, whatever. That's the jet mode. Um, and there's like the, what do they call it? The girlwalk. Or, uh, they used to call it Valkyrie mode in like in the English show. Where you, it's like a, a jet that's walking around with arms and legs. It's weird, but I thought, I thought it was fucking cool, man. When I was a kid, I love this shit. That's why I'm an Armor Core fan. Because I, I love like giant robots when they get into like, technical stuff you feel like they could actually do it you know they haven't obviously but everyone wants mecha uh, although it's super impractical so attacks kicks and shit. when it transforms it has different attacks like look at that that 
down on the bottom there does like a punch it's like flying with a punch out drops missiles and bombs and shit that's fucking cool i like i like this one but well, like different colors oh look at look at that look at this one up here the one the top center that's totally that's totally it that's absolutely the fucking skull squadron leader or or this one down here the one on the all the way on the right that not that's not even trying to like pretend like this is totally fucking cool uh, of course gundam is good that goes without saying which gundam is your favorite if you're into gundam if you're a gundam head what's your favorite one i want to watch the og 0080 i think that's what it is or 0800 um the original gundam. so yeah that's that one's super I like this one. Uh, Twins MV is kind of like the closest they can get to like a Voltron. They're trying to keep it simple, but this one is very interesting um, because it has two forms. So it's made of a super alloy infinite V because why not? <laughs> it's not, it's not exactly the evil metal or whatever it was called. You know, the super evil steel. It's not made of that stuff, but I mean, I guess the super alloy infinite V is good. And uh, Twins and V is like two characters in two jets. And they, um, depending on the formation, there's a plasma formation where the red part is the bottom and the blue part is the top. There's the fire formation where the red part is the top and the blue part is the bottom. And, and you have different attacks. So it's sort of like a stance changing character. But it costs you one meter to switch, I think. And so because there's like a little pause. But I, I like this one too. It's a really cool concept. And the pilots are two children. I think they're brother and sister or they're two brothers. I can't remember which, but I think it's brother and sister. And um, they pilot the two. That's one jet. That's another one. There's like different weapons they use. Um, and I, I think Twins and V is pretty cool as well. These are just, Capcom was kind of on their A game. Like they were really good at these like kind of concepts could tell they were doing homages but this is like so neat you know i wonder if ben dunn i don't know if you guys know ben dunn i i kind of i've interviewed him on the show before he's a comic book artist and a uh, creator that made this very um kind of indie line of books called ninja high school but he's also done like uh warrior nun ariala i think it is and they made like a netflix show out of his out of his comic book and he's been doing like he's been trying i think there was like a trying to do like a blue sonia comic book which is kind of like a parody of red sonia but he was he received a cease and desist recently about it and by the whoever owns red sonia and so he's kind of at a loss for like something to adapt i wonder if that if he could get the rights to this because capcom is not has not done anything with this property in a really long time like since the game came out like this is from the 90s. I think. So, and there's like some, I, I don't know. I think there's a gold mine here. Like, it's just really neat stuff, in my opinion. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm overly charitable. So, in Zambi. Uh, I kind of like this. Bottom heavy. Um, this is Olon. Magic, it's magical. You can see that it's like, a building and a boat and a bus and a, like a train with like a bulldozer. It's just like a random shit, you know, like a house. <laughs> it's like, but it's so, it's like, you know what it reminds me of? Again, it's another messenger, another messenger. Um, Dimensional Crusader. The battle mech from Battle Zone looked like something like Robocop, but huge and cannons for hands and a launching mortar that turned an, into an image looking missile in midair. Super good alloy infinite V is the technical name. <laughs> Gundam W was my shit. Top center looks like Xeno Gear. Oh yeah, yeah. Um So this is this one is really cool. Again, it's like a house. And uh it's just like what it reminds me of is in Messenger Z, there was there was uh you had your main character, you had Messenger the robot. Then there was Aphrodite A, which was sort of like a, a prototype robot that looked like a woman and her boobs were missiles and uh she was always like the first to go out and deal with the menace but she was always like getting her ass kicked and then master g would have to show up and see, like, almost every time but she would always survive right 
Um, and then there later on in the show, there was this guy that was like a bully. And he like built his own robot out of junk. He like lived in a junkyard and he built his own robot. And it was like this. It was like this big fat goofy robot called the Bobo Bot. At least that's what it was called, like American version of it. And um, it was like this. It was like this thing that was just like. And the, the thing is, is that he built it himself. Like I was like, you know, I got it. Wasn't as power. Obviously, it wasn't powerful, but it did help out. And I was like, I gotta give you credit, man. Like you built your own shit. You know, the kid inherited Messenger Z. Like. Oh, what is is that the tea kettle foot? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um giant wrecking ball arm. I don't even know what this is. like other things. They were probably like trying to come up with different ideas. There were these were like concepts. Like a shuttle for a foot. It's kinda interesting. Is that like a train tunnel? I don't even know. Cave leg. Um giant hammer. It was like a it's actually a squeaky hammer you can use in the like a, one of those hammers. It's a very goofy. It's the comedy relief character. That's the pilot. Her magical dick. Um, I don't know if that's her. Like in the thing, I think it is because it's like a house, right? So, but she's. I don't know. Like this, is a weird character. All right, this is Diana Seventeen, which I think is based on Aphrodite A, but maybe some other like Sailor Moon type. Thing I also like this one Neo Bio Metal, from by the Amamiya Financial Group. Cause like the girl who pilots it is like, you know, a very rich, rich girl, and a high school student because of course she is. Um, and that's what it looks like. I like this one too. It's a, a neat design again. You know, very feminine. Probably wouldn't be allowed in today's climate. Too attractive. Look at that cake. Yeah. Uh, nope, not gonna work. Those are not as good. That's a little too dominatrixy. Unless these are like enemies of hers. Like if you made like a series and you had rivals, that'd be kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of um, you know what it reminds me of? Do you guys remember uh this anime? This, this uh, it was like a short series or OVA or something called Project Aiko, and um, there was like Aiko was this redheaded girl with super strength and speed. And then there was a character named Biko, who was like the rival, and she was super intelligent, um, but she didn't have any powers. And then there was Seiko, which was like the girl they were fighting over. It was weird. Uh, there was some weird lesbian shit going on. But Biko made like this armor suit, and she could do, uh, she could launch missiles, and it looked kind of like, it wasn't just like this, but it had like the goggles and stuff. Uh, I like how the goggles on this, by the way, are like a heart, like a nice, like the warrior of love and justice or something. So, kind of reminds me of that. I kind of like this. And also, her piloting area is like a virtual reality thing. Stands inside this thing. Fight with the robot. Um, again, I dig it. I think it's a cool... What you guys are saying? Aiko, Biko, and Seiko. Yes, I love that movie. They made like a sequel to that. The Eccentric Magical Girl. <laughs> uh, Biko was... Inspired by Tony Stark. Oh, really? I can see that. So, Gamda is the golem. Um, or I think it's like a golem. And it looks like a giant temple, which I think is super cool. And with one eye. I th I th again, this is like, you know, these this character you can unlock. Like, in the in the regular game, it's not available, but you can unlock it. But I think in this, in this uh, thing, it's already unlocked. Emulator. Bomb. Mystic stone is what it's made of. Oh, parts, woods of the royal house, temple, servant soul, arm, the grieving side. Okay, that's what it's made of. Um, there are, that's, yeah, recovery speed, I don't know. So they are telling you some gameplay, but Gamda, very interesting, I think, a unique thing for sure. Um, I like games where you play as like giant things and you smash all kinds of collateral damage. And uh, again, pretty creative. There's like pyramids, the whole Egyptian, Aztec, you know, Hebrew theme, like a golem. And uh, I think the guy is like inside of it somewhere. And the eye is like the thing that holds it together. I, I dig it. It kind of reminds me of the Mega Man rock monster. I mean, kinda. 
You know, it actually does. It's very similar. They've, Capcom has a thing for that. All right, this is the uh, squid with testicles. Uh, quid, quiv, quiv, barl, 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 barl. Uh, armor, unknown living organization. So it's made of some. It's alive. It's an organism. This is a weird, weird character. It seems out of place, but it's it's some kind of. I mean, I guess it's sort of like a kaiju monster type thing. A giant squid, and it's constantly changing, and it has it does illusions or something. I don't know. It's weird. It's just it's just. Weird. I don't know what to say. The pilot controls it. I don't think she's inside of it. She's like um, got antennas and stuff, and she holds the control. But when it gets hurt, she gets. Hurt. It can change colors, and the different colors are different formations. It has different ability, but be like a squid with testicles. Ribbons for. It's pronounced Carl. Yeah, it's probably what it is. <laughs> it's probably you're probably right. Uh, Goldibus. Um, no, I mean, not bad. It's not my favorite. Weirdly enough, it's the final boss, but it's not really my favorite. Um, this is the, okay, what is it? Uh, armor material unknown, of course. Like, usually when you get up top, it's like, you don't know how anything works. You know, parts, head, first mask. This is the source from which all wickedness emanates. It is the source from which all wickedness emanate, em emanates. Chest is the source of all anger. Its only thoughts are focused on destroying the opponent. So mad! You can see it on its face. It's angry. Then, um... Uh, the scream that is unleashed from the mouth attacks the brain of a human being directly. If an ordinary person hears this, they will become brain damaged beyond repair or will be killed instantly. Why are you... T like, it's so funny. Like, this doesn't come up in the game at all, but they're telling us this. This, if this guy was real, he would mess you up, guys. Like, he would scream and you would get brain damage. Is it a woman piloting this thing? Um, the large claws capture opponents and also serve as wings. Uh, when, this, when his anger peaks, deadly flames will be unleashed. Oh, boy. This is the second form. Um, oh, he's even got a mouth on his dick. Like, what? The, the source of suffering, it unleashes the wave motion, which inflicts the highest level of suffering on the leg, fourth and fifth. That was the hip. That was his, his butt, I guess, or his hip area. Fourth and fifth mass, the source of envy and jealousy. If you are attacked by these parts, both your body and your mind will be horribly and damaged. <laughs> horribly and damaged. <laughs> I love it. I love that. Oh, English. Love the translations. Thank you. Who needs localizers? Who needs it? I picked up all this from the gameplay alone. <laughs> um, again, but they, like, look at the, like, the artwork, though. Like, they put in some work on it. Gotta say. You know, credit where credit is due. Uh, although I don't, I don't know how I feel. I think the robot's a little too, this one's a little too stocky, like, fat looking. I think that they could have made him lean and smaller, and it would, it would have looked a lot better. I don't know if this was the limitations of the technology, but uh, Goldabus is not my favorite. That's my least favorite design, honestly. But I know what they were going for. I think it could have been. So, I mean, yeah, look, it's got a mouth on his penis, like, and it's roaring at us. I don't know how to feel about that. And the sword is just. This is so a product of its time. This is some going to guy shit right here. I prefer English than any censored translations any day. They had some talented artists on this game. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh. Anyway, so that's Gold of Us. They don't have anything else. I thought. Uh, anyway, kind of neat. What else do they have here? Pilot. Oh, they had the pilot. Look at them. Junpei. There's no. There's artwork of. Um, favorite food, fried pork cutlet bowls. I like those. Fujimi Academy High School. Of course, this is my favorite archetype. This guy right here. This is like every character, every protagonist ever. He hates cucumbers. I'm with you, bro. Unless there's salt on them. Like, I can't do it. <laughs> He's a Virgo, just like me. 
Well, although October 31st is not Virgo, that's leap. Got it wrong, Japan. Once again! Uh, Jupe is generally selfish, but at the same time, he is chivalrous and kind-hearted. His stubborn nature and abrasive attitude often causes misunderstandings, even when he does something nice. He probably gets nosebleeds when he looks at Panty. Um, this is, I think this is from, like, cutscenes that maybe never made the cut. Uh, or is this like some kind of intro or something? It's like, these, these are like cells, but they're from a show that never happened, but could have, right? This girl is just thirsty. Look at, look at him. I'm a loner. But he understands me. What are these drawings? Oh, look at that guy with the fucking mechanical face. That that totally that's totally cool, man. Like hot, hot and passionate. Um, yeah, you you need you need you need this. This is just <laughs> I love it. Uh, the girlfriend that him again, or is like his friend, maybe his older brother who like piloted before him. That's the professor. I like that guy too. Very cool designs. Uh, Nakato Farland. What? <laughs> what kind of name is that? His first name is Japanese. His last name is just like English. Nakato Farland is a self-conscious and... Oh, is he? 16. See, they're all young people. Um, Nakato is a self con He doesn't have a favorite food. Then I'm going to tell us that. And tends to be depressed. However, a bit of a comforting can get him to think positively. Mentally, he is rather immature. He looks like um, the main character from Gundam. I, I think that's what they were totally going for. Like that, well, from one of the Gundam shows. Uh, that's like somebody from back where he is getting ready to go to his mech. I like this too. It's cool. What about that face though? Um, they don't have much. That's like his captain. Like the science guy with the Hitler mustache. <laughs> Dude, make it happen. Ben Dunn, get on this. You can make this into a series and people will eat it up. I'm telling you. Alma's the other pilot of Dixon. 17, so she's older. Um, the students of the battle school can relax by engaging in sports. After only two months, Alma has become an unbeatable squash player. She's also a pro at ski and snow. I don't know if you, I would brag about that. Because she takes an objective view on things, people get the impression that she is cold-hearted. She is shy around strangers. In order for her to be open to someone, she has to get to know them first. She wants to be able to depend on someone's kindness that's trouble expressing her. Sounds like toxic femininity. Um, you see what you guys are saying. Scorpio, every shonen action protagonist, maybe it's self-conscious because his mom gave him a dumbass name. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Um, these are like other characters that, again, they're drawing characters that don't appear in the game at all. Like why, are, they're like fleshing this out needlessly. Oh, this is the, okay, these are the, these are the crew of the Wise Duck. So it's going to be like five guys. So, uh, what's his name? Arvin. Honest person, idealistic views and kindness. So he's like the young guy. Uh, Gonzalez is like the leader um of course he's voiced by the dude that uh he died i don't remember his name but he does the uh he used to do heihachi mishima's voice is that really like raspy old voice 45 years old he sounded like he was 60 but okay uh gonzalez is overbearing and reckless he tries to solve every problem by using force no one dares to disagree with him face to face by his demeanor he is deeply religious <laughs> <laughs> of course. His name is Gonzalez with two L's. That's Gonzalez? Is that how you're supposed to say it? Thanks, Japan. Don't ever change. Ricky, let me guess. This guy's a tough guy. A rough little guy. Once he gets angry, he is untouchable. He loves to fight and tends to get involved in other people's quarrels. Although he is aggressive, he does not bear grudges against others. <laughs> Thomas, he's a smart one, right? A logical thinker. <laughs> they, they did it. Exactly. He's got glasses. He's probably super rational. Appears to be very serious on the surface, but he's actually quite friendly. He tries to hide his ups and downs from others. His temper shows through on occasion. Him to be a whole. Harold. Harold is quiet. I thought so. Expressionless soldier. He shows no interest in other people or society. People tend to notice 
this. His comrade Ricky has encouraged him to express his feelings more, but to no avail. There's like a whole fucking story, and that's not in the game. Like it comes up in the story mode a little bit, but there's like they don't go into it at all. There's like five guys. I mean, this is like you know what? I guess what I'm 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 noting is what I'm seeing here is that this is how much people cared about video game development back then. Like this game was only in arcades. It came to Dreamcast and Capcom's team at the time, they put in all kinds of work to flesh things out. And it was stuff that you would, most people don't know about, you know? And so you have like, it, it's kind of crazy because today that the, this is not happening at this scale for the, for something so small, you know? And as somebody who appreciates good art, like, you know, I, I, I love this stuff. I think this is, I think this is fantastic. And that this guy has a Hawaiian shirt, and they're showing you the shirt. Just one guy that you, that's on the team. You barely even hear his voice in the game. But they drew him, so now you have to sit. Look, their sidearms are there. The, the mech doesn't use these. Why'd they even draw it? I mean, like, it, it, who, who's this little girl? I, I think that might be in the story a little bit. But, I like, what? Why? I'm very impressed, man. Hi is pilot of Pulseon. Another, like, very uh, generic protagonist, or not generic, archetypal. Now we know his favorite fruit, our Earth Defense Force bit, Beast Intercept Team. Uh, fruits, especially apples. Though he dislikes sweet food, he eats apple pie often. Food he hates, fermented soybeans. Well, he's not a soy boy. The smell of that kind of food makes him feel like fate. He's 23. He has a, he has a strong sense of justice and responsibility. He does not like to lead, but he he commands well when the situation Kai is easy to get along with, but he's very stubborn side. His strong will conflicts with his responsibilities to Pulseon. There's like, I don't know, mentor character? I don't even know. Like a wizard? Why does he have a hat like that? It might be a wizard. No idea. Um, I, I think he's based on, like I said, Ultraman, like the human form. Uh, these are like his friends from the Monster Defense Force, their characters too. Leaving like a girl in there and some like guy with glasses that looks really. I mean, it's crazy, man. It's very, it's it's just, I'm, you know, look at the rest of these. Hey, oh yeah, there's a female version of Pulseon too. I forgot. Um, So you can, like, when you pick your character, some of the mechs have two pilots and you can choose which one. It doesn't change the moves or anything. It just changes the voice actor and the story a little bit if you play through the story mode. So, um, Earth Defense Force, right? Gardening, she practices aromatherapy with self-grown herbs. She cares for her dog, Beth, her goldfish, Ch Kin Chan, she won at a festival, and her cat, Jubei, a stray cat who has a scarred eye. Well, that's fucking cool. She's a very kind and caring, yep, yeah, of course. She's a mother figure. Others make fun of her because she is much calmer than her peers. Kay doesn't mind bit uh we see <laughs> natto is disgusting yeah Lindsay likes it but i don't um this era of gaming it was at its peak it was right sounds like a kudere um total annihilation online was a brand new concept by choosing to fight for the arm or the core against other players you decide the fate of the campaign each month total annihilation I don't know that one waifu milf maker yes <laughs> uh so yeah this is her i think she's probably like an environmentalist or something uh there's like a little boy he looks perhaps like determined to help gets himself in trouble uh that's like a fatherly character maybe a a, a superior officer treats her like a daughter that's a friend Maybe just like a jolly dude. Again, I like this design a lot. Uh, but that's K. Simon is the guy who pilots the Veritech, the transforming robot. Um, Rafaga, 26. I, I think based on Roy Folker from Robotech, that's what I think. Lieutenant Commander, favorite music jazz. Uh, personality, it seems that his primary mission is to chase skirts. Believes that it's rude not to call out to women immediately. Conservative in battle, Simon relies on his mind and keeps at all times so he's a fucking chad he's a chad character with the ladies he doesn't even need any more backstory we're done women want 
Um, he doesn't have he doesn't have a problem wearing glasses. He's totally cool. He gets it done. Uh, look at him. He smokes cigarettes. Oh my god, this guy's so such a fucking bad dude. Um, care about judgment or anything. Oh yeah, there's a, a black woman that you can play as like a pilot. Although I don't know what her story. That's like a girl that you know into him, but he doesn't like he he's either clueless to it or you know he does he wants to he's thinking about like giving up his his uh his player ways stop playing the game you know so Simon Harvard that's a badass name too <laughs> yeah that's that's cool Sora and Daichi so these are the kids that pilot Twins MV he's got a number one in his chest the other one probably got a two ten years old. Uh, September 23rd, see, that's that's not a Virgo either. Uh, affiliation and Amanokawa Elementary, 4th grade. Daichi is always optimistic and positive in a situation. However, he is impatient with others and often yells. He is rather unpopular with girls at the, as a result. He's okay with that. Too early to be worrying about that shit. Here's his report card, because we needed to know, how is he doing? <laughs> He's bad in language, math, and social studies. Yeah, fuck social studies. Um, he's okay in music and good at home. He's great at science, PE, and art. Although you are energetic and popular, this is the teacher, it seems that you are nervous in class and are not paying attention. You need to concentrate more and do your homework. Please do better in the second term. This is before we started putting kids like him on Ritalin. All kinds of, like, just calling him autistic. He's on the spectrum. We need to medicate this kid. <laughs> Conservative. Sayori is best girl. Fight me. Havoc, Total Annihilation, released in 1997, with what's an RTS about robots. Oh, I do remember that. I do remember that. I remember the music being very good, actually. Um, it was it was really good music. I didn't have a PC, but my friend did. But I had the soundtrack to that. I, I was That's why I was trying to remember. He even had high-end orchestral music that would change. Yeah, see? I, I The music from that was great. I would play it at my... Uh, when I run tabletop games, I'd play uh, Total Annihilation. Sora, so that's the girl. See, I knew it was a sister, I think. Uh, because they got the same last name. Um, and they're twins. He's no, he's ten, she's eleven, not two. Um after waking up, Sora waters the plant. She then wakes Daichi up and cooks breakfast. At school, she is an honor student and class officer who is admired even by the teacher. Nothing wrong with an ideal person. Sora keeps herself busy by solving problems and giving love advice to her male friends. After school, she shops at the supermarket, then returns home, washes the laundry, and cooks dinner. She always watches her favorite TV drama while looking after Daichi. By the time the drama in which her favorite actor appears is over, Daichi is fast asleep. Sora then writes her diary and goes. Sora is a strong person opposed to Daichi. She is realistic. She is an effective replacement parent for Daichi. She yells at Daichi as a father would, yet looks after him like a good mother. She's only a year older, and she's, like, taking on all this shit. Unfortunately, Sora carries the weight of many troubles and is often depressed. If this happens, Daichi will lend his encouragement, and she... Right, so they work together. And there's that must be a teacher there. Uh, they got a dog, apparently. Um, or or that's, like, another student, like a rival kid, maybe. Curly hair. Looking, looking like uh, fucking uh, Jonah Hill. <laughs> There's uh, that. So yeah, I, you know, very cool. I like this a lot. Um, I again, these are these are great Capcom characters that we're probably never gonna see again. That might be Haver or their mother from flashbacks, you know, because they're like probably orphan kids. That's not depressing. Holland Pola Poliam. Wait, Holland Poliam de Polentine. Wow. Okay. Pollen Polyalm de Polenton, eight years old or 17. Sprout month, joy day, birthday. On the dimensional crusader during the equivalent season to that of spring on earth. Okay. So she's from space. Dimensional crusader Dick, Dickulum, Dilkum, Dilkum. He likes pudding a la mode from Mitsuya the best. Uh, Fuchi hates Chogu Chogu. I don't know what that is. It's a kind of vegetable found on the Dimension Crusader. 
cannot eat this ever. The appearance and taste of this vegetable is amazing. Tries to get what she wants at any cost and causes trouble for others without realizing it. She's selfish, but she's also sensitive. In any case, she loves Junpei with all her heart. So Junpei, the pilot of G Kaiser, protagonist. Um, so she is obviously comedy relief, but I'm okay with that. Uh, kind of cute. See, are animals for some reason? I don't know. Here to be intelligent and talk, like Iago. That's her with her wand. And I wonder if there's like one of a drawing of her as an adult. Like, okay, well, there's a 11. That's her as a little girl. That's her as an adult. So you can see the difference. Or as a, young, a teenager, I guess. I don't know how to feel about that. But I like the star eyes. Uh, again, it's very funny. It's definitely comedy relief stuff. That's Pollum. Reka Amamiya, 17 years old. Uh, special ability, tea ceremony and flower arrangement. Cla a classy broad. Reka is the eldest daughter of the noble Amayama, Ama, Amamiya family. Her father was opposed to her piloting Diana 17, but he gave in due to Reka's enthusiasm. Personality, she is kind, sensitive, and easily years she is emotionally effective with the lives of others in her normal life reka is much like her peers but when she assumes the form of diana 17 changes into a courageous girl with a strong sense of justice although reka doesn't realize that her tone and vocal mannerisms change drastically when she becomes diana 17 that's her as diana 17 i guess um and that's her normal form so see what you guys are saying about that Either age, she is a lolly size, never changed Japan yet. Waifu in the making, traditional girl, okay. The extended soundtrack is available for free on YouTube. Very cool. Is she supposed to be a reference to Mickey, Minky Momo? I'm not sure. Um, I guess these were other designs that they were looking at, but I think I like this one. Kind of like the Samurai Co thing. Pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of, again, this is like... Before D.Va existed, Overwatch. Like the hair and the design is pretty cool. Yeah, these are great drawings, man. Great. Friends of hers, I guess, or classmates. That girl there with the curly hair looks like a rival, a jealous rival type. Goes to like a high class school, so she's probably around high society. There's like a, a ninja character there for some reason. I don't even know. Um, proposing with Diana 17. Pretty cool. Uh, there's only a couple left. I'm going to look at it. Shadow Red, Doc Mamoru Todoroki. So, related to the other guy. Um, this is his brother. Note one information that you guys are. Oh, I got to finish the story. It looks like. General of the Gold of His Corp, Shadow Red. His true identity is Mamoru Todoroki, Junpei's father. Oh, it's his father. Oh, it's not even his brother. It's his father. Of course it is. He was presumed dead after a lab accident. Moru was actually kidnapped and brainwashed by Goldibus, who wanted the secret of the superdimensional system Ora Halconium. <laughs> the brainwashed Mamoru cooperates with the Goldibus Corps and attacks Junpei. Will he ever return to his true identity? Nixon and Nakato type, the ace pilot of SHTO Space Force, was a following the special forces up top. What? Oh, there. That's another. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, I dig it. Um, I, I know what they're going for, and I like it. So, the OG laugh stereo, stereotype. She almost reminds me of Nakoru. Yes, she totally does. Uh, Arik Shim. E <laughs> uh, one of the followers of... Go There's always a guy like this. There's always a really feminine dude in these, in these animes, right? A promise was made that if Arik, Arik Shim fights for the Goldibus Corps, his ruined kingdom will be rebuilt. Although he serves under Goldibus now, Arik Shim plans to defeat Goldibus after the kingdom is rebuilt. So, yeah, if you play through as Arik Shim, you can, again, you have to unlock him. He's not playable. You can unlock him and then play through his story. And I, I, I like, I like, it's a simple design, but I still like it. 
It is very like weird though. Man, the guy the guy's confident. Like, I'll just wear this. I'm not gonna wear much. It's hot. You know? That very Dragon Ball like, isn't it? Wait, like this is so Dragon Ball like. Gale. Um Gale is an android made by Goldabus. She has the ability to control the different dimension B Carl. Carl? I'll just say Carl. She is programmed to obey Goldabus. Gale has a highly advanced brain and she can act on her own will. Uh she sometimes questions her actions and hesitates for Goldabus. She's a Gale project. So yeah, it's another one you have to unlock and if you do, um can essentially there's an excuse for why she would fight Goldabus as the final boss. She's like um and i mean kind of neat again i don't i don't have a problem with it i dig it not the strongest design but i thought it's interesting anyway considering they have to come up with this so, pretty cool i should uh get going soon there is like some other stuff what's the box oh, the galaxies are colliding Oh, I've never seen it. 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 Oh, I've never What? Oh, oh shit, dude. Okay, I'm gonna watch this and I'm gonna end it. What is this? Like, why did they spend this money on this? Bro, why is this so hype? What? This is crazy. How do you- Oh my god, look at that animation! Like, for a fucking video game that was on one console that you have to find buried inside the fucking back room? What? Oh my god, dude. This Crazy. <laughs> what? You guys, can you stop it? Okay, I gotta stop. <laughs> that was just like they just they just put that there. Like what? Oh my god. It's the. This could have been a great series anime, but no. Like what happened? Like how? Okay, I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. I got to because I got to go get Lindsay. But um, what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments. Kind of crazy. And I'm sorry. I guess I didn't end up playing a lot of games. I just sort of like ended up in the options. stuff. But I really, I, this, I guess the thing is, is that for me, um, the thing, the reason why I'm like really passionate about culture and stuff and video games is because I, I love good art. and it's such a shame to see that that this is so i mean i'm glad that i can look at it and that i can share it with you guys um but that's nuts man like it's so so interesting it's so energetic like wow it, it, i mean i'm just kind of blown away because like the stuff that's out here now just not at this level i mean i guess anime is still like okay and i'm sure that you guys will tell me about some shows you're watching and i have really enjoyed shogun i think shogun is great um i think it's like the best television i've seen in a while and i know the standard the bar for that's not exactly high but i would highly recommend it but uh it says it probably plays automatically at the title screen if you leave it for a while maybe yeah i don't know but anyway it is nice to see that um i'm all about the anime vintage stuff yeah it's nice to see that there's like still you know, nice looking stuff out there I'm going to wrap it up there. Thanks, guys, for coming on the show. Thanks for your patience with me while I was messing around. Uh, if you guys like this video, please smash like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. 
hit the bell for notifications. That, that, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. That that got me a little emotional, to be honest. Um, gotta say. And uh, I think I'll. I'll... <sighs> All right. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> thanks guys for coming on the show and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. This are machines, dude. Okay. They are literal machines. They are talking point machines. They are impossible to fucking deal with. Especially if you have like, especially if you have like a, a couple dudes who have good memory on top of that too. Holy shit. You're fucked.